Good morning everyone, how are you today? This morning I'm gonna pull out our vincas that I planted at the end of last summer. No, not the end of last summer. I'm sorry, the beginning of summer. <laughs> I have read where people will trim them back, kind of do a hard prune on vincas and they'll flush back again in the spring. However, I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna replace all of them right behind me with dark purple osteospermum, which is an African daisy. So I'm not sure if you'll see, some of them will start out like a pale lavender and they'll turn into a deep, deep purple. When I'm finished planting the African daisies, I have some pruning to do on our lantana, probably cut back some of our fountain grasses, and I'm also gonna get some gladiolas and ranunculus. <laughs> some gladiolas, some ranunculus, and some dahlia tubers in the ground today. Good afternoon everyone, how are you today? It's been a few days since I planted the osteospermum. I planted 17 in total, and beyond that, between where I stopped with the African daisies to the second camphor tree, I planted about 100 ranunculus. And over here, I don't know if you can see in the angle uh, between the purple lily that isn't blooming yet, but it will shortly, because of my white, um, I mean iris. My white irises are already in full bloom over um, close to my kitchen window. Anyway, beyond the African daisies right here, I planted more ranunculus. Between my two crepe myrtles, and I'll probably insert a picture, you won't, they're obviously not coming out of the ground, but I planted seven or eight of these dahlias, and I think they look gorgeous. So we'll see how they come out. Beyond that, between on my back fence, between the two Euonymus, I planted about 100 to 150 gladiola bulbs. We are about, I wanna say less than five days from our last frost date. So it gets warm here really quick. Where other parts of the United States, and I'm sure around the world is still covered in snow, we already start experiencing warm temperatures. I have my hyacinth bulbs already coming up. And I'll have to insert a picture of the white irises that I already have in bloom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a really great weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye.